Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Shanika and today's yin yoga sequence is a sequence for your morning. You will not need any prop. We will be targeting the neck, the feet, shoulders, hamstrings, and hips. It will be a shorter sequence, but it will be sort of an all-encompassing because I don't know about you, but when I get up in the morning, I'm pretty pretty stiff. I mean, we haven't done a lot of movement for eight hours, so you kind of want to flush things out from the night and really supple yourself up for the day. So I hope you enjoy the sequence. And if you are enjoying the content that I'm producing, I would appreciate if you liked, subscribed, and shared it with your friends or your family or anybody who you think would also appreciate my content. Um, and we'll go ahead and get started in our intense toe squat. Coming to a tabletop position, tucking your toes under and sitting back onto your heels. Always being mindful about the pinky toes. Sometimes they like to get left behind. Sitting back onto your heels, palms face up. Nice tall spine. Just settling here. Noticing if you're tensing your shins. We'll be coming into a neck stretch here. Feel free to stay where you are or join in. Take your right hand and just snuggle it underneath your bum or underneath your thigh. Take your left hand and grab just above the right ear. Inhale and exhale. Gently draw the left ear to the left shoulder. So if you pull up, on your thigh with your right hand, you'll notice an increase in the stretch through the neck. Go ahead now and imagine you're looking into your left pocket. Take your hand behind your head and just gently pull down, very gently, imagining you're looking into your left pocket. And gently release. Switching sides, so the left hand comes underneath the left thigh. Inhale the right arm up and grab a hold of just above the top of the left ear, drawing the right ear towards the shoulder. Let's go ahead and imagine you're looking into your right pocket. Bring your hand behind your head. Gently pull down, bringing the gaze into that right pocket. And gently release. Last few breaths here. Last two breaths, nice big inhale. And side out. Again, inhale. And gently exhale. Opening the gaze, 
rock forward, plant the palms, untuck the toes. You should feel really, really nice. Rotate the ankles, wiggle the toes. Maybe you tap the toes on top of the mat. Anything you need to do to bring some life back into your feet. And we'll just counter stretch that. So pressing the feet or the toenails into the mat and sit back onto your heels. If you have, if it's uncomfortable on your ankles to sit like this, you can always place your feet on a blanket or um, on a pillow. Bring your hands behind you, nice and light. You're just gonna lift your knees up for a count of three, two, and one. Gently lower the knees, rock forward, untuck the toes, and maybe this time you might want to extend one leg back and the other leg. And from here, we'll make our way into a wide-legged child's pose. So bringing your knees as wide as the mat or as wide as is comfortable for you and bringing your big toes to touch at the back. Send your hips into the saddle that you've created and walk your fingertips forward, allowing your chest and belly to drape on the mat. Really letting go here. Noticing any areas you might be tensing. For me, that's my inner thighs. Think about sending the breath into your low back. Some nice expansive breaths on the inhales. Seeing if you can make any minor adjustments here to allow yourself to go a little bit deeper for these last few breaths. Maybe you walk your fingertips out further and lengthen the back a little bit longer. Take our last two breaths. Nice big inhale. And exhale, side out. One more inhale. And gently exhale. Go ahead and lift the gaze. Walk the hands back in, 
lean the weight forward so shoulders stack on top of wrists tuck your toes under draw your knees close just being mindful you're not dragging the knees on the mat send your hips back drape the belly on top of your thighs stack fist on fist and let the forehead rest you can shimmy from side to side opening the eyes and pushing yourself all the way up. From here, we will be making our way into Caterpillar. So extending your legs out straight in front of you. <clears throat> and for this one, instead of bringing your heels to touch, you want a slight part in your heels. So there's a slight V shape. Um, doing this allows the stretch to go a little bit deeper into the belly of your hamstring. And when you're sitting, when you're sitting um, flat like this, if you notice when you go to reach your toes, you tend to sink back into your um, pelvic girdle. I would suggest taking a towel, blanket, or pillow and sitting on the thickest part of that so that it can tilt your hip bones forward. So going ahead, set yourself up in this pose. Palms face up and close your eyes. And here you're just naturally allowing the weight of the head to fall forward. So there's no pulling, no reaching, no gripping. Just allowing the body to sink. So again, making any minor adjustments to allow yourself to go a little bit deeper. Last few breaths here. Last two breaths, nice big inhale, and side out. One more inhale, and 
and gently exhale. Very gently lifting the gaze, walking yourself all the way back up. Just bring your hands behind you. Allow yourself to sink into your shoulder girdle. Just take a moment here. And go ahead, opening the eyes, and we'll make our way all the way down onto our backs. So from here, we'll be making our way into a twist. So with the knees bent and the feet planted on the floor, you're going to push into your feet, pick up your hips, and shift your hips to the left, and then set them back down onto the mat. Cactus your arms. Draw your knees in towards your chest and drop both knees over towards the right, gazing to the left. Or if that's uncomfortable on the neck, keep the gaze towards the ceiling. You just want to make sure that your left shoulder is not lifting up off of the floor. Your left shoulder should be planted nice and grounded on the mat. Right hand on the left knee if you'd like. Last few breaths here. Always thinking of that breath like a spiral. Spiraling up the spine on every inhale. And spiraling down on the exhale. Last two breaths. Nice big inhale. Go up all the way into the chest. And exhale, side out. One more inhale. And exhale. I'm going to bring the gaze back towards the ceiling if it wasn't there already. Move the hand from the knee and very gently bring your toes and your feet back to the mat and bring your knees back towards the ceiling. Readjust your hips. Just allow everything to settle for a moment before we do the other side. Let's 
go ahead and do the other side. So maybe readjusting your shoulders, just get comfortable again, cactus the arms. With the feet planted firmly on the floor, push into your feet, pick up your hips and shift your hips to the right this time. Draw your knees in towards your chest and drop both knees to the left. Gazing over the right shoulder or towards the sky if that's more comfortable. Left hand can be placed on top of the right knee. Last few breaths here. Last two breaths, spiraling up on the inhale. And spiraling the breath down on the exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Bring the gaze back towards the sky. Bring the tippy toes onto the floor. Bring the knees back towards the ceiling. You adjust your hips. Just take a moment. So we'll finish today's practice with double wind relieving pose. So go ahead and lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Draw your knees in towards your chest. You can wrap your arms around your knees and give yourself a big hug like this. Or you can grab onto your heels if that's accessible for you. Filling your thighs, compress up against your belly for three, two. Let's take a nice big inhale here. And on the exhale, release, extend your legs out wide the length of your mat, arms out wide for your Shavasana.
while you're laying here in Shavasana, now it's a good time to set your intention for your day. Maybe bringing to mind one word that will represent how your day unfolds. My word for today will be slow. I've had quite the busy week. feeling free to stay here for as long as you'd like. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this morning yin yoga sequence. Enjoy your day. <laughs>